share this this uh, hey guys. link or something like that. Yeah, I'll send it to the group. I'll send it to the group. There okay. is another oh, way okay. to say, I regret having done that. I regret uh -huh. having chosen that. He uh, have admits it, to having, having chosen done, that. I regret having chosen, having that. chosen yeah. that. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry okay. for having walked that, for having walked uh -huh. that way. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Hey, guys, you know what? I like this thing. I like that you, every time that I get in, you're talking about something related to yeah. the classes. So <laughs> that's nice dedication. Let's, one of the biggest problems, guys, that people has is that they don't have who to practice with. So if yeah. there's a lot of people interested in, 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 you know, improving English skills, then you can work outside of the, of the classes. Create a group uh, for the ones that really like to improve and make sure that you help each other out. As you can see, we don't waste mm -hmm. time. Exactly. That's right. Okay. So you can do that, guys. Definitely. And it's going to help you a lot. All right. Okay. So down right. to business. As you know, what was yesterday's topic? Mm -hmm. Okay. We were using past, paris past participle to describe a process. Past participle. Yeah. We were talking process. about passive balls. Mm -hmm. That's That's right. Right. Using the verb to be. Correct. Would you mind giving me some examples? Trying to find some. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult to find the verb to be like uh, when you search for that information. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember you were talking about Marchands. You were talking about um, what was the other one? Hamburgers. If I'm okay. not mistaken. Soup. Soup. Uh huh. <laughs> Pata soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to cook a pot of soup. Yeah. So, a mama, a mama don't go soup. Yeah. It's mom don't go. Mom don't go. That's, That's a good one. Mom don't go soup. <laughs> right. Like Talking today, about mom don't go. Give me some examples. I made, I made some tacos today. Okay. So, um, when after the chicken was after the chicken is cooked cook, cook, yeah uh, yeah I, repeat after me don't don't say yes go ahead and repeat cook 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 got it after the chicken is cooked i <laughs> added uh, tortillas after the chicken is cooked is added and I added the tortillas on top of the chicken just to uh, make it softer. Uh, mm -hmm. After the tortillas are soft, softer, soft, uh, softer, softer, mm -hmm. you add the chicken on top of the tortilla. Uh, add the, how do you say that in English? Uh, <laughs> What do you put on top of the taco? Uh, Marina cream. Chimol. <laughs> chimol. Uh, yeah, you add the chimol okay. on top Tomato. of the... Uh, uh, Tomato. Pico de gallo. Tomato. Pico de gallo. Sí. Pico de gallo, yeah. Okay. Nice. After you pico de gallo is on top, you add sauces, uh, green sauce and red soup. Uh, green sauce and red, so red sauce. And okay. chili, as you desire. And okay. the taco nice. is ready. It's ready to serve. Ready to be served. <laughs> okay. All right. Great. Excellent. <clears throat> Thank you, Tomas. Now I need one more person to give me an example about yesterday's. Remember, it's not only logging in and participating in the class. You have to try to be on top of things. Okay. You want to improve your practice. Simple as that. In all of them. Okay, let, let's try to with Amaruchan. I went in order to have a Amaruchan mm -hmm. soup done. Mm -hmm. uh, boiling water is poured uh, into the cup, mm -hmm. and then uh, the uh, you have to wait three minutes. Mm -hmm. 
and then the, you have the to wait for you have herb. to wait for three minutes you have to wait for three minutes and the soup is served um, uh, immediately just you can eat it no it's it's, it's eaten Right, it's right away. It's ready to be eaten, right? It's ready to be eaten. Okay. 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 Got it. Thank you, Oscar. All right, guys. Okay. <clears throat> so that's the thing. Whenever you start learning something, go ahead and practice it. If you don't want to, mm -hmm. forget it. <clears throat> now let's go ahead and cover today's topic. Read it with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Yes. At the end of this lesson, okay. participants will learn and understand defining and non-defining relative clauses. By the end of this lesson, participants will learn and understand the defining and non-defining relative clauses. Okay, let me do it again. Uh, sometimes I'm going to read not fast because this is not fast, but I'm going to try to to slow down. By the end of this lesson. Participants will learn and understand defining and non-defining relative clauses. Go. By the, By the end, end of this lesson, lesson participants, participants will learn, learn and understand defining and non-defining non relative clauses. Non non relative, relative, clauses. Relative, relative clauses. Relative clauses. That's right. Clauses. Okay. Clauses. 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 You will understand. Clauses. You will understand what the meaning of that is. Now, um, a tip that I can give you. You know, I always like to give you tips, right? Um, mm, yeah. When people, sorry, uh, this guys, this action is fidgeting. Fidgeting. Fing. That that means Fingering. I'm gonna. Fidgeting. Fit J. Fit Fidgering. Fit Now, have you ever seen the, the fidgering cubes? Unos cubitos que tienen un montón de cosas para que la gente esté moviendo las manos. No? Fidgering. Anti-stress? Uh, Anti-stress cubes. Anti-stress. Fidget cubes. Let me try to find one. Fidgeting. Fidget cube. So fidgeting is when you're doing something with your hands. And if you notice, most of the times I'm with my phone in my hands. Cube magic. Fidget cube. Uh, okay. uh, fidget. Fidget. Why? Fidget. Because you gotta be moving your your hands, right? So this is fidgeting. When when you are with something like this, fidget. it's fidgeting. Uh -huh. All right, but that's fidget general knowledge let's move to this one okay something that i would recommend you to do guys is to pay attention whenever you're listening to native speakers because people learn how to speak english but they have a lot of issues listening right so you may be able to graduate from any academy any learning institution but when you talk to a native speaker or when you watch a movie you understand 30% if you're lucky. So that's okay. why, along with your classes, you have to practice your listening skills and you have to repeat everything you hear and how you hear it. Okay? For example, okay. here, there's a melody that you have to copy. This, by the... It's kind of flat. By the end... I'm going up. I'm going to... Do it here. Give me a second. Here. By the end of this lesson, participants will learn and understand defining and non-defining relative clauses. Okay? So, just to tell you something, these guys are content and function words. Content words... Um, are the ones that you are going to stress, right? Like verbs, okay. nouns, adjectives, and adverbs. And the other ones are the rest, like auxiliary verbs, conjunctions, etc. Those, you don't raise your voice. 
So this is the melody and pitch of the, the language. <laughs> if you want to learn it, you have to practice your listening skills. And this is the reason why I ask you to copy everything as you hear it. Now, por eso, guys, estos son los, este, la melodía del, del idioma. Mm -hmm. Si ustedes quieren lo, lograr entender, tienen que escuchar mucho, practicar sus listening skills y copiar absolutamente todo como lo escuchan. Porque es más fácil para ustedes copiar y entender con la práctica, sin explicación, a estar diciendo, no, espérate, este es content word, entonces, va o no va. Este es function word, va o no va. Mm -hmm. All right. So, simplemente, guys, listen to native speakers and repeat. So, by the end of this lesson, participants, el will, no lo estreso. Yeah? Mm. No, lo, no lo elevo. Participants will learn el end tampoco. And understand, defining, con el end bajo de nuevo, en non-defining relative clauses. Okay. So, todo lo que sea nombre, adjetivo, adverbio o verbio va para arriba en la entonación. Todo lo demás va para abajo, o sea, flat. Mm -hmm. ¿Alguna vez habían escuchado de esto? No. 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 Pues, so, this... Nombre, adjetivo, verbo y ¿qué más dijo? Y este, no. Eh, nouns. No, nouns, nouns, adverbs, adjectives and verbs. Mm -hmm. Right? Nouns. Okay. So, so these are continuous. Nouns. Uh -huh. Nouns, adjectives. Adverbs. And verbs. Yes. Right? Now, one more time. Digo, con todo el cariño del mundo, si ustedes se quieren meter a esto por medio, por medio de la gramática, va a ser un poquito difícil si no manejan los conceptos anteriores. Entonces, si ustedes quieren aprender eso de una manera natural, Pueden acceder a cualquier página de... Se lo digo en español porque hoy sí ya quiero que, que el mensaje vaya claro. Pueden acceder a cualquier página de listening. A mí me gusta mucho Randall's Listening. The website is esl-lab.com. Right? And uh, yep. I, what you got to do is listen, repeat. Listen, pause, repeat. Listen, pause, repeat, and try to copy everything as you hear it. Traten de copiar todo como lo escuchen. De esta manera, ustedes van a aprender de las content and function words de una manera natural. Sin meterse tanta gramática. All right? Okay. So, guys, Thank you. That, that was the tip of the day. Okay. Here you can okay. go down. Um, you can go to easy. You click on view quizzes. I'm going to try to do it fast, guys. So, Pay attention to this and write down what you got to write down. So you go to easy and um, you're going to select the first one you choose, right? Or cualquiera, you can choose anything. You click on it. It's going to load someday, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and turned off my video because this is slowing it down. So what you got to do, number one, it gives you idioms and it gives you information. First, you got to play it. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? It's a clock. That's okay. So, step number one, go ahead and write it down. Anótenlo. Paso número uno, you play the video once and you answer the question. That's going to help you with your comprehension. Okay? Lo primero, denle play una vez y los va a ayudar con su comprensión. Number two, step number two, you're going to click here where it says, see listening transcript. See listening transcript. Vayanle tomando screenshot, anótenlo, lo que sea. This is number two. Once you click on it, you will be able to see the conversation. 
Now, you will be able to listen to the conversation in written. Vamos a ver la conversación escrita. So you play it and you read. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. All right. So this is going to be the next step. Here, you will be able to associate the sound with the reading and you will understand more. Van a aprender un poquito más. A entender más. Garantizado. After mm -hmm. this, what you have to do is something that I call play, pause, repeat. Play, pause, repeat, exactly as it sounds. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. So, copian exactamente como suena. Obviamente, este, aquí ya cuando ustedes bajen ya no van a ponerle, no le van a poder dar play, pause, repeat. Así que tienen dos opciones. O separan la pantalla, con un, la abren en diferentes browsers, o lo imprimen o lo copian a mano. O tienen esto, así como lo tengo yo, en la pantalla de la compu, y ustedes en el celular le van dando play, pause, repeat. Lo que sea, para que ustedes traten de copiar absolutamente todo. Next step, siguiente paso. You gotta talk on top of it. Tienen que hablar encima de él. Al mismo pace, like this. Hello, today I'm interviewing Joshua on his experiences going to a Japanese school. Now, Joshua, what time do you go to school? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. And do you go by yourself or on a school bus? No, I have a group that goes with me. ¿Lo estaba diciendo al mismo tiempo? Yes. Sort of. Sort of, right? Yeah. Why? Because I have listened to this audio different times. This is, this is the example I always use. So mm -hmm. this is going to help you with your fluency. This is going to help you with your pronunciation, linking sounds, with everything. And after this, the last step is for you to record yourself. So as you can see, this is an audio that, that lasts 1 minute 32 seconds. You have to record it, and you have to sound the same, right? So with one minute, 32 seconds, you can take two hours, one hour, easily. But your idea is to say it exactly as it sounds, okay? So, okay. recapping. Primero van a esl-lab.com. Se van a easy, intermediate, difficult, el que ustedes quieran, le dan play. Vayan anotando. Um, Luego que le dan play una vez, contestan las preguntas para probar su comprehension. Right? Luego uh -huh. le dan see listening transcript y lo vuelven a dar play y lo leen. Les aseguro que van a entender más que la primera vez porque ya tienen referencia. Y van a ir entendiendo cómo sus fonemas van sonando. Now, next step, play, pause, repeat. Pausa. Perdón, play, pausa, repetir exactamente como suena. Si no, no sirve. Luego de eso, lo van a hacer tantas veces, o van a repetir tantas veces, que van a ir copiando la melodía. Okay, la melodía y la entonación, ustedes la van a ir copiando prácticamente. Es por eso que en San Miguel todos hablan de una manera. Es por eso que en Guatemala todos hablan de una manera. Sí, pues, eres un agua fría, pues. Todos hablan así. ¿Por qué? Porque lo repiten y lo repiten y van mimicking. Lo mismo van a hacer ustedes. Right? Um, after this, you gotta record yourself and you gotta sound the same. So this, guys, is the best recommendation that I can give you. Es la mejor recomendación. Quieren mejorar fluidez, hagan esto. Pronunciación, esto. Linking words, ending sounds, uh, intonation, melody, acá está todo. Échense primero dos a la semana, la siguiente semana tres, la siguiente semana cuatro, la siguiente uno cada día, lunes a domingo. No excuses. Si quieren estar relajados, allá ustedes. And the good thing is that if you have any new vocabulary, like, I don't know, Taisofuku is something in Japanese. So, Taisofuku. That's a gym really, cloth. Bao. Do you know what is the meaning of bao? 
Yeah, bow. Bow. Uh -huh. Exactly. Bow. Hacer una referencia. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Entonces aquí ustedes van a ir viendo um, vocabulario en contexto. <clears throat> All right. So after more than 10 minutes, guys, I really hope that you can take this advice. Um, train hard or go home. Simple as that. No excuses. So Good. let's let's go ahead and continue. This is the best advice that I can give you so far. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good advice. Thank Excellent. you very much. Literally, well, this load. I have worked <laughs> in many academies and I have worked Thank with you. people who wants to get a good job in a call center, for example. With this, I have achieved the best number of hires with this exercise. All right, let's go ahead and mute your mics. Let's go to the grammar part. I know we have studied relative clauses before, but this time we'll learn a little bit more. Let's stay and find out the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Defining relative clauses are used to identify people. A dialect coach is a language specialist. She works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist who works with actors on their accents. A dialect coach is a language specialist that works with actors on their accents. Non-defining relative clauses give further information about people. A location scout finds places to shoot scenes. He travels all over the world. A location scout who finds places to shoot scenes travels all over the world. As we mentioned on the intro video, we have two types of relative clauses. Defining and non-defining relative clauses. Let's look at the difference between them. Number one, defining relative clauses. The information in the clause is necessary. It shows us which person is being described or talked about. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Number two, non-defining relative clauses. The information isn't necessary. It is extra information that is added to the sentence. For example, Tom Cruise, who starred in that movie, is very talented. I want to point out that commas are used before and after a non-defining relative clause. Think about All right, guys. So um, I saw your faces and um, I saw like you were a little bit confused. All right. Um, for example, Defining clause, as the name says, is something that is needed to understand the meaning of the sentence. Okay? If you don't say it, the person in front of you is not going to understand you. For example, the actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Now, would you be able to, to understand if I tell you the actor is very talented? ¿Podrían entender yeah. si yo les digo eso? The actor is very talented? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you don't say which actor and where did he start. It. So basically exactly. you are talking about an actor, but not describing who was the actor or mm -hmm. in which movie the actor appears. So. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Thank you so, enough information. If I tell you, let's say... Um, the man robbed my house. The man robbed my house. ¿Cuál hombre? Uh, o sea, ¿quién yeah, what, uh, who mm -hmm. was the man? Exactly. We, who was the we man? know. Yeah, yeah, we knew that he stole. He. How do you say he created? He entered your house. Broke into. He broke, broke into, into your house. Broke into your house. But we don't know who the person was. Exactly. So now. Um, let's say that I have Francisco, and I tell you, Francisco, the girl is crying. Mm -hmm. The girl is crying? 
Who's girl? What girl? What girl? So this is a defining clause. The girl, and we use who. The girl who is wearing a red jacket is crying. Mm -hmm. Oh, the one that has a red jacket is crying. What about mm -hmm. this one? It's yeah. more specific. Hey, Francisco, the girl who is supposed to be your girlfriend is crying. Aha, uh -huh. I said. Can that work? Yeah. Yeah, okay. it can work. So the idea when you have a non defining clause, I, I'm sorry, a defining clause is for you to give information that is needed. Yeah. Okay. Now, okay. we're going to go come back to this one, but I want you to see the difference with non defining clause. Here. Tom Cruise who starred in that movie is very talented. Now, if I come here, give me a second. If I come here and I scratch this, would you understand if I tell you Tom Cruise is very talented? Yeah, yeah. the sentence doesn't yeah. lose the meaning. Exactly. Complete. The sentence completes the meaning because Okay, I know that not everybody knows who Tom Cruise is. Right? But if you have seen Tom, if you have seen Top Gun, Mission Impossible, Top Gun. Et cetera, Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible, then you will understand, right? Now, yeah. this information, who starred in that movie, and is within commas, as you can see, there's a comma here, and there's a comma yeah. right here. So this information. This information we have right here is not needed for you to understand that Tom Cruise is very talented. All right? So you can add it if you want to add extra information, but it's not necessary for you to understand the meaning, despite can, the previous can, one. Can we also go back? Can we go back to the girl wearing pink? Like we say, yes. we know the name of the girl. Like we say, Lisa. Comma, mm -hmm. the girl wearing pink, comma, was crying. Yes. It's just an example. Right. Yes, okay. but it depends. If you know Lisa, yeah. for example, if I talk to you, let's say that um, you are my brother. Mm -hmm. And we have another brother who's Francisco. Mm -hmm. If I tell you Francisco is crying, you're going to say, oh, man, he's a pussy. He shouldn't be crying. I don't know. I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, not you, yeah. Francisco. I mean, any yeah, Francisco. Yeah, it's a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not even a joke. Yeah. It's just another Francisco. That's exactly. Yeah. So Do you will be... understand. You will understand because the context lets you understand because it's your brother. But let's say that we are we, we just met. We met five minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And if I tell yeah. you Francisco is crying, if we don't have anybody in common whose name is Francisco, you will not understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if I tell but you, you don't know who, who Francisco is. Exactly. So the context is going to help you to determine if it's defining or non-defining. Now, even though if we just met, if I tell you, you know what, Francisco, comma, my brother, comma is crying because he had an accident, even though you don't know Francisco, now you know that he's my brother, now you know that he's crying, and you understood the message. That you care yeah. or not, that's yeah. another story. Que yeah. le importe o no, es otra historia. But can I say, can I say, the man whose dog is barking is my brother? Yes, exactly. So we can use clause, who and whose. Yes. The finding clause is that the information is needed for you to understand. Non-defining, non que no define. Non -define. The information is just extra, like in this. Okay, so let's go ahead and compare both exercises. Let me remember this one. Where are you? Okay. The actor who starred in that movie is very talented here. I'm going to write it down here so we can compare. 
ya voy yo a decir, lo más que estoy, tengo una clase de 15 minutos. The actor who starred in that movie is very talented. Let's go ahead and put it here. Here. So this, my friends, right here, is a defining clause. Because we need the information to understand. Okay. Right? This is a yes. defining clause. Here. Defining clause. And this one right here is a non defining clause. Don't necessarily have to mention a name. Aha, uh -huh. because the information within commas, I value in solo, is not necessary to understand. Understand the message. Right? So let's put it can, right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you put up? <laughs> what? Oh, oh, yeah. No, no, no. Okay. So is this one. Y como está algo desmadrado, le vamos a poner una línea aquí. All right. So guys, I think that right now you will be able to understand a little bit more, right? Yes. All right. Before we continue, do you have any questions? Because right now I need you to start creating things using your imagination. Any question? Speak now or be quiet forever. No, it's everything clear. It's clear. Sir. Well, for me. Okay. Um, Come on, guys. Don't be afraid of asking. That doctor is... It's, it's excellent. Hmm. I, you see a doctor on the street. So I okay. can say that doctor is excellent. That doctor is excellent. Defining or and, non defining? Uh, defining. Uh, defi defining. Defining. Okay, defining. That doctor sitting on that chair is excellent. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe Ooh. it makes sense. Yeah. The thing is that you're using that. Ese okay. doctor. So okay. you are making it defining right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it is defining. That doctor hmm. is excellent. That doctor, comma, who's sitting on that chair, uh -huh. comma, is excellent. That okay. one will be non-defining. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Got it. So, guys, <laughs> it. Um, <laughs> sé que este tema para muchos puede ser un poquito como enchulado. But he is also affectionate. Um, give me just a second, because I hear you, like, you're kind of far away. Julio. <laughs> affectionate. My father is a hard worker. Uh -huh. No. He is also affectionate. My father, comma, who is yeah. a hard worker. Hard worker. But he is also affectionate. All right. That will be defining or non-defining? Uh, defining. That will be non-defining. Not defined. Uh -huh. okay, because you thanks. already said my father. Aunque yo no conozca a su papá, usted ya me está diciendo quién. Ah, tu papá, ok. Bueno, qué bueno, que, que, que es bastante afectuoso. Entonces, guys, uh, good. Julio, thank you, guys. If you participate, I can help you. Now, vamos a hacerlo en español para que entre bien el mensaje. Las defining clause es cuando toda la información que se dice es necesaria para entender el mensaje. Por eso se dice defining, ya que define el mensaje. ¿Verdad? So, por ejemplo, aquí um, la persona que está sentada allá anda bola. The, the person sitting there is drunk. Was drunk. Is drunk. Ajá. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo no le señalo y le digo, aquella persona que está sentada allá está bola, 
ustedes no entendrían. Yo les puedo decir la persona de esta bola. Uy, vos quién? That person is drunk. Ajá. Uh, and you be like, who's that? Exactly. Uh, ¿Quién pues? Like, for example, the chef. That chef is a good cook. Uh, how do you say cocinero? Cook. Cook. Chef. Cook. It's a good, it's a good cook. Mm -hmm. uh, now, the chef working on that restaurant is an excellent cook. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. okay. Así como está poniendo Elizabeth ahorita, necesaria versus innecesaria. It is non-defining. Tom Cruise, oh, okay. coma, el que cree en la cientología, coma, es millonario. <laughs> ¿Qué necesidad hay de meter que cree en la cientología o cien, no sé cómo se puede, creo que cientología, cientología, para entender el mensaje? Tom Cruise es millonario. Eso, uh -huh. que cree en la cientología, no es necesario para entender que es millonario. Uh -huh. Okay? So, guys, um, I really hope that you have been able to understand this thing. And now, I want to, you to work in groups. Esto se los voy a mandar a WhatsApp, como siempre, este pedazo. I want you to please work in groups, creating at least five and five. Five defining clauses, five okay. non-defining clauses. Perfect. Got it? Got it. Got it. All yeah. righty, yeah. people. I let's go ahead and accept the, the <clears throat> invite and let's start working. Okay. All right, guys, if you have any question or any issue, let me know. Nice. Francisco. Me? Okay. Yes, I'm going to start. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the example, right? All right. Okay. Um, the, the, um, the yellow car, the owner of the yellow car is sitting in the park. All sitting. right. Okay. The owner of no. the yellow car is sitting on the park. Yeah. The I'll owner, comma, the owner of the yellow car, comma, is sitting in the park. Non-defining, non right? Okay, we got comma. Yes. Analyze. If you say the owner sitting in the, the yellow owner. car, o sea que está dentro, sentado. The owner sitting mm -hmm. in the yellow the car. Owner is what uh, i say the um the owner of the yellow car is sitting in the park oh, okay uh, yes that will be defining we, that defining, will be defining yeah. because if you say the owner we, dueño, el dueño we need more information exactly that's the fine okay okay, right. oh, okay. okay. But, 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 non-defining i i want to do example all right, uh, go ahead. The, the woman at that desk is the best secretary. Secretary. All right, that's uh, defining. Yes. And my example is the man in the yellow car is my brother. That is a defining class. Okay, very good. It's your turn, Arturo. Uh, let, let me see. Um, how do you say diputado? <laughs> Enjoy. Congress is, Congress is, no. Diputado. What? The politic. Well, 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 yeah, well, the when, you, <laughs> when you say the Congress is, uh, didn't approve the law. It is uh, uh -huh. definitely close because you don't know who the who Congress is. There is a non-defining clause. It's, it's a defining, right? Because you need more yeah. information. I uh, think it's, I yeah. think it is, I think it's non-defining because if you say the, the Congress is, uh, you, you are not specifying who, or, or because could be a lot of Congresses. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, then uh, it's a defining, right? 
because you need more information. Define. No. Try to, it, try to say it again. Defining. The Congresses didn't approve the law. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's the defining, right? The, the Congressman didn't approve the law. But what, what law? It, uh, right. Uh, uh, so this this is example for the fighting clauses, mm -hmm. right? But if you say uh, the congressman uh, uh, that the congress the congressman that the law the law of that party political political party. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Political party. Political. That, that belong that this poli political party, yeah. Um, you can uh, say, yeah, approve the law. Pongamole, pongamole nombre, pongamole XYZ, en vez de cualquiera. Um, XYZ, okay. apostrophe S for possessive. Okay. XYZ's congressman didn't approve the economy law. The economy law. Because I didn't want to say, you know, arena or frente or yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly right. Yeah. Uh -huh. when, you, when you say of that of that uh, example, uh, specify specifying the 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 political party or mm -hmm. or, or, or the name, mm -hmm. and not defining, right? It'll be defining oh. because it's needed. Okay. Pongámosle, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, PDCs, para no meternos con los grandes, PDCs congressmen, hmm? or PDCs in this case, PDCs congressmen PDCs, didn't no. approve the economy law or regulation. So you got to be a specific because you, if you, well, it depends how specific you can go because if you say the congressman didn't approve the the economy law, oh, I would say, I mean, they, who, one of the 84, mm -hmm. we have 84, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can go as specific as you want. Or the congressman in El Salvador mm -hmm. didn't approve the law. All of this is defining. Is defining, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. All right, try to work with, uh, with the following. I need to check how another group is doing. Okay, all right. Remember, defining is that the information is needed. Non-defining, it's not needed. It's just extra okay. Okay. information within commas. All right. Okay. Uh, new, uh, let's talk about music. I must say like, I like new, new age music. New age, it's a good music. Mm -hmm. um, the new age, who new um can be has to talk about like a a group. Enya, Enya is a good new age singer. Uh -huh. Enya, who sings the song "May It Be," is a good singer. Okay. Uh for example, um, um, the the red hat. No, I am not sure. The book is that is my book. Mm -hmm. The book. Uh, it's over on the table. It's my book. Okay. Uh -huh. Now the, let's talk the, about la the book on the table is mine. Yes, uh -huh. the book on the table is mine. Eminem is a good singer. Eminem, who is a rapper, is a good singer. Okay, can be. So, so you're making both then, defining uh -huh. and undefining at the same yeah. with the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the same thing. Oh, okay, got yeah. it. <laughs> Understood. Doing great. Continue. Let me check another group. Okay. The and, dog. Uh, in another country. Trivial. 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 
Cereal. Uh -huh. The government is giving cereals. Mm -hmm. The government is cereals that are being harvested in another country. Maybe. Yeah. Say it again, please. Okay. An example. My, my is a good person because he cherishes sheep. Okay. Um, Julio, uh, I need to apologize with you, but it's very difficult for me to hear you. I don't know if it's because of the microphone or the room you are in, but I hear you very far away. Escucho muy oh, oh. Mm -hmm. uh, sí, Yeah, yeah, no, don't worry. I just wanted to know that if I ask you too much, it's because I can barely hear you. But yes, I know you're doing your best. Okay, another example. Uh, I was talking to to Oscar, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah, with Oscar about this. Those cars which cost a fortune uh -huh. are made in Italy. Non defining. Okay. Non defining. That's right. Right. Non defining because the okay. necessary information is those cars are made in Italy. Uh -huh. But the X information okay. is which cost a fortune. Okay. That's right. Now okay. try to use the same example to make it mm -hmm. defining. Defining. Uh, it, it will be the same. Those cars are made in Italy. What kind? Yes, yes, it is. But which cars? Instead of saying those cars, which is good, don't take me wrong. For you to mm -hmm. understand a little bit more, go ahead and okay. and um, and add the brand of the car. Ah, okay. Okay. So you Those can say Ferrari cars. Maseratis are made in Italy. Those, I, I yeah, think they're Maserati. made in Italy. I'm not sure. Lamborghini, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Continue, guys. Okay, okay. Um, and the teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, if you tr I'm trying to say that the government is, is giving uh, crops that are harvested in another country. Okay, defining or non-defining? Well, it's defining. The, the, the defining uh, statement is that the government is giving uh, crops. Exactly. So, uh -huh. if we are talking about El Salvador, then we uh -huh. understand the government is only one. Okay. I mean, <laughs> per state, right? Per country. Uh -huh. So yes, uh -huh. it is defining the government, which government? El Salvador. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So yes, it is defining. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, another example. Uh, my brother who lives in Canada called me yesterday. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. The thing is that the thing is that you hear me? It is I hear you, I hear you. So Did you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, uh, the mechanics are good because it, it show show in their good work. Okay. The mechanics are good. Are you talking about every single mechanic? Because it show in their good work. Okay, sorry, you're breaking up. Now, remember that in this case, if you say the mechanics, ¿qué mechanics? Mm -hmm. Cuando estamos ocupando el artículo da or di, es que estamos hablando de unos mecánicos en particular. Okay, entonces si los estamos viendo, si la persona ya sabe de qué mecánicos estamos hablando, está bien, pero podríamos decir those mechanics, my mechanics, etc. Okay, thank you. The, those mechanics are good. Eh? Yeah, I, there you go. That's right. That? Nice. Okay. All right. Good, guys. Okay. Who is my friend? Mm, nice example. I met him in my neighborhood. Say it again completely, please. Yes. Yes. 
Can you repeat the complete sentence? Roderick speaks about me, who is my friend. I met him in my neighborhood. Ah, mm -hmm. I'm sorry about what I'm going to ask, but say it one more time. I, I want to check the structure. Say okay. it again, please. Oh, okay. Robert speaks about me, who is my friend. Uh, I met him in my neighborhood. Oh, okay. Nice. I got it. You can say Herbert, comma, my friend who lives in my neighborhood, comma, talks about me. So, my friend, okay. perdón, mm -hmm. Herbert, comma, right? Um, mm -hmm. my friend who lives in my neighborhood, comma, talks about me. Is that defining or non-defining? Non-defining. Mm, non non-defining, exactly. If we knew who Herbert is. Si supiéramos quién es Herbert, es non-defining. ¿Por qué? Porque ya sabemos quién es Herbert. Yeah. Ahora. Uh-huh. If you want to make it defining, you can say something like, my friend Herbert, my friend Herbert talks about me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see defining. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Defining. Mm -hmm. My sister is Stephanie is, my sister is Stephanie. Mm -hmm. uh, who is in my who is in my house? Mm -hmm. uh, she speak with me. Okay. Quitémosle el she porque ya lo dijo en Stephanie. Speaks with me. Speak with me. Speaks with me. Mm -hmm. Defining or non-defining? Defining. Non-defining. Non-defining. Non mm -hmm. If you said, for example, my sister Stephanie speaks with me is defining ah okay but if you say my sister stephanie comma who is in my house comma speaks with me ese who is in my house no nos hace entender nada porque usted ya dijo mi hermana stephanie ya está siendo específica ese who is in my house is extra information mm -hmm. so you can make both my sister stephanie mm -hmm. speaks with me Defining my sister Stephanie, comma, who is in my house, comma, speaks with me. That one is non-defining. All right, let's go back on this one, guys. Let's go back to the main room. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, thank you. All right, so people just started to come back. So guys, now that I have you here, I would like you to please uh, give me an example. I know this topic is a little bit confusing. Confusing. So I would like you, I would like you to do some homework. This thing that we are mentioning, I want you to please create five defining and five non-defining by yourself. I was talking to a group and they said, for example, my brother Camilo, comma, who lives with me, comma, is very friendly. Defining or non-defining? Defining. Non-defining. Non-defining. We, because you already said my brother Camilo, we are being specific. Right? All right. El hecho que viva conmigo es irrelevant. So if we are giving more information that is not needed to understand, mm -hmm. that is not defined. Exactly. Now, if I tell you, my brother who lives with me, or, or por ejemplo, um, my brother who lives with me is friendly. Ahí podría ser defining. Si tuviera varios, usted está especificando que el que vive con ustedes 
es amigable. Entonces ahí sí pudiera ah. ser. Remember que aquí el context tiene mucho que ver. And that's the reason mm -hmm. that is some uh, confusing. Exactly. That's right. Because it depends what on about context. this example? Teacher. Teacher. What yeah. about this example? Let's go ahead and yeah. do something, guys. <laughs> The situation is that I have to go to the next class. I'm giving okay. you more time, I know. But let's go ahead and work on this tomorrow. Watch a couple of videos about defining and non-defining. Remember, you have a beautiful tool that it didn't exist before. Back in 1998, we used encyclopedia, and before we had to go to libraries. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Internet, <laughs> the internet for sorry. something else than Facebook. Or Dictionary. Tomorrow is Friday. <laughs> now, Teacher, sorry, but I can tell you something. Yeah, tomorrow is Friday? Yep. Yeah. Monday then. Monday. Monday, <laughs> Monday, so you're going to have more time. No excuses. Go ahead and work on it. And I promise you, the same way I took time to give you the tip on pronunciation, I'm going to take time to work on this. So, guys, okay. thank you very much. Work on it. Get out of here. See you Monday. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.